This video is the first of series showing how we built the 15 metre solitary using fibreglass and foam panels and fused on a table. The process starts by precisely cutting and accurately locating the core in glass to enable the panels to be bent to the required hull shape. The hulls, decks, bulkheads, bunks, hatches and shelves are made from two infusions on the 16 metre by 4 metre table. Each infusion takes two days to set up the materials. A couple of hours to put the bag on, then 40 minutes to wet out and consolidate the entire panel. There are no constraints on core or laminate thickness, alignment or type. A properly infused panel is lighter than a vacuum bag panel, but with time to orient the dry materials, a lot more can be done to the panel. The basic technique is the same for any size. The bigger the boat, the bigger the savings. Once cured, the panel is bent to shape and placed in a couple of frames. These are necessary to keep it upright, but not for shaping, which is automatic. The bunks, cockpit, floor and galley bench are bent to a horizontal and the sides bent to vertical. The bows are joined and the cabin ends are bent to shape and bonded on. The bulkheads are installed and the cabin size trimmed, ready for the deck. The deck is trimmed and bonded on and the window banks removed. The seats are cut from the panel, bent and bonded in place. The cockpit entrance, including the hatch and its flange, is bonded to the seats, cockpit floor and roof. The windows are bonded in place. They are on a flat surface so are very easy to install and should last longer than bent ones. A light sand and the hull is painted. It weighs 162 kilograms or 356 pounds. The leeward hull is built the same way, but from a single infused panel with only one joint down the middle of the deck. The panel weighs 130 kilograms, 286 pounds. It is folded to shape, the beam seats, bulkheads and mast bearings are installed and the decks are folded and joined. It has removable ends to allow for shipping in a 40 foot container. The ends of each hull are fiberglass polystyrene to provide a fender, buoyancy and the ability to change the shape if required. Installing the bulkheads in such a deep, narrow hull was not much fun. The final ready to sail weight without the rig will be about 400 kilograms, 880 pounds. The rig will add up about another 100 kilograms, 220 pounds. The build cost is $35,000 of which about 10,000 is materials. Paintings with water based paving paint add another 4,000. The rudders are mounted on the beams. They are large enough that the boat does not need dagger boards or keels which is a significant cost, weight and performance benefit. On future boats, the aim is to have no laminating post-infusion. All components will be matched and just require gluing together. This will save weight, materials and time, plus provide a very simple to assemble kit boat. The next video will show the completion of the leeward hull and the construction of the telescoping, unstayed wing mast, beams, rudders and rudder mounts.